Today is Friday, December 21st. This is Brian McInerney, hydrologist with the National Weather Service located at the Salt Lake City Airport. This is a Utah snow briefing looking at the current snow conditions across the state. So let's get to it here. Uh, the basin we're looking at is the Bear River Basin in aqua color and that's located at the far northern part of Utah. And this drainage also encompasses parts of Idaho and Wyoming. And the graphic we're looking at now, there we go, has the y-axis with snow water equivalent, or SWE or SWE as it's sometimes termed. Uh, this unit is the measurement of water in the snowpack, and it's how we measure water in the mountains uh, for our water supply forecast. The x-axis has time starting from the beginning of the water year, in this case, 2013, it's uh, starting October 1st, and we're going to go all the way to September 30th, which is the end. And the graphics look normal. Uh, when we look at the normal, the blue line is considered the 30-year average from 1981 to 2010. And the aqua color, this guy right here, is 2011, where that we had that giant year. The red year is last year. I'm sorry, the red line. And then the green line is where we are right now. And as we can see, we're at 94% of normal on the Bear River drainage. Now, if we move down to the Weber drainage, and we look at this graphic here, uh, we see they're at 89% of normal. Uh, if we see this little seasonal on any of these, that means we've got 29% of the snow collected of the seasonal average ending on uh, April 1st. So we're 29% of the way through the winter as far as snow collection goes. 89% um, is on the Weber. And when you look at uh, the, the snow conditions in, in these areas, uh, we're going to see that we're in the middle between 2011 and 2012 for the most part. And really though, this is quite nice compared to where we were at the end of November with November was a tough month this year when it came to storms. We had three days of any storm activity uh, during this time. So so it's it's nice that we've got a lot of storms coming through in December and that's what's, what has picked up this green line right here. So now we'll move down into the Six Creeks drainage and that is the one uh, to the west of Salt Lake County. And let's see the graphic here, come on. That's at 105% of normal, and you can see the green. It's, it's pretty much been what we see right on. And these are the higher elevations of Brighton, Solitude, Alta, Snowbird. These are the four main areas, main ski areas, in this drainage, and it's right on normal, which, which is okay. Um, and if you look at last year's storm, around the third week in November, and it didn't return really until you know, the third week of January, and that was quite the lag, and that's this line that goes out this way. Um, kind of tough, but we're looking better. Still not not like we saw before in 2011. This has started a really big storm cycle moving through at this point. So we'll see. We have storms coming up, but nothing that looks like 2011. Now we'll move down into the Provo, and we'll bring this guy up. And we find the Provo River Basin is currently at 114% of normal. Very nice numbers with a nice healthy snowpack. Uh, the snow on this drainage falls in the western edge of the Uinta Mountains and to some extent the backside of the Wasatch Mountains. This area was favored with the recent storm activity that was shunted a bit farther south into the state. And it was this time in 2011 we see the Aqualine shoot up with some very large storms mid-December. Looking at last year's storms around the third week of November, and they didn't return till the third week of January. So, so again, this very similar pattern in the Provo. Now we're going to move over to the Duchesne Basin, and we'll bring up the data for that one. And that's currently at 108% of normal. This area encompasses the Uinta Mountain Range and the only major range that is east-west oriented, just kind of for information. And the snowpack, 108% and pretty much at normal levels. So we'll take that. Now we'll move into the upper Green River Basin. And uh, that, this is currently at 104% of normal. And this basin extends northward into Wyoming with the river systems flowing south, eventually meeting the Colorado River in southern Utah near Canyonlands National Park and then flowing into Lake Powell. 
and the upper green starts in the Wind River Range in Wyoming. And as we can see, it's doing okay right here, right around normal. It hasn't reached 2011, but we're way ahead of last year. Now we'll move down into the, the uh, Lake Powell group. It's, it's between the green and the Colorado. And this area is, is really quite large and is the collection point for the green and Colorado River basins. The Colorado River headwater starts in on the west side of the Rocky Mountain National Park and flows southwest meeting other river systems along the Colorado Central and Southern Mountains. And depending on the snowpack in the upper Colorado, Lake Powell will either rise or fall come runoff time. It's, it's a big contribution into this basin. And they're currently at 74% of normal, we see up here. And the green line, they've had kind of a lack of storm activity all through Colorado for the most part uh, up to this early season. They seem to be getting a little more as of late, but um, hopefully they can pick that up a little bit to get more inflow into Lake Powell. Now we'll move over to the Severe River Basin. Let's bring that up. The Severe River Basin is only is the one of the only river basins to flow from south to north in the state of Utah. The headwaters of the Severe start around Zion National Park, and they fl it flows and terminates in the dry lake bed of Lakes uh, Severe Lake, and that's located somewhere in the central eastern part of Utah. And the Severe is currently at 93% of normal. Now we'll move down to the Virgin River Basin. Let's see that guy. And the Virgin River supplies water to southwest part of Utah. And that's specifically the St. George area. The watershed starts in Zion National Park and the Pine Valley Mountains and flows past St. George through Arizona, Nevada, and then into the Colorado, ending in Lake Mead near Las Vegas. And they're currently at 133% of normal right here at this point, way ahead of where we were last year where they had that lack of storms. And you can see right about now is when in 2011 things rocketed up even for this area down in southwest Utah. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we're doing pretty good with regards to snowpack at this point in time. Let's hope the storms keep coming. And I'm going to be putting out a water supply briefing around the second week of January that looks at precip temps, soil moisture, snowpack, and associated water supply volumes. And until then, I hope you have a nice Christmas, and thanks again for taking the time to listen to this briefing. We'll see you again. Thank you.